Now, my inheritance was $600,000. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before we get into the story, if you like my videos, if you like my dawah, there's two ways that you can help me out, inshallah. Number one, you can become a Patreon member. Go to patreon.com slash maliki click. Number two, you can just go to PayPal and drop something on me for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go to PayPal backslash revival of man. You can find me at PayPal at revival of man. That's me. Okay, let's get into the video inshallah. I became a Muslim 32 years ago and my Christian family was just like super duper Christians, like extra strength Christians. My family is extremely well off, extremely like the way I grew up was like uh, Mus'ab ibn Umair, if you know who he is. Very, very extremely well off. E extremely, extremely well off. And I had a future. Future. And my whole family is into petroleum. Uh, uncle, grandfather, father. When I told my father that I became a Muslim, you he threatened me and he said, long story short, because I've told this story so many times, if you insist on this Islam junk, he said another word, you will not be my son anymore. You will not be my son anymore. I will completely disown you. And here's something that you probably really won't like. I will go to my lawyer and I promise you, son, I promise you. I will go to my lawyer tomorrow and I will write you out of my will completely. Like that. You will not be my son. You will not speak to your brothers and your sister. Nothing. Now, my inheritance was $600,000. Okay. $600,000. American dollars. So when he said that, so choose which one do you do? Do you remain a Christian or do you remain this Muslim? And immediately I said, I choose Islam. Like that. And my father said, okay, before you become non-existent to me before I write you out of my life, before I take every single penny that you had coming to you in your inheritance, I want to know why. Why? Why do you choose Islam? And this is what I said. Whatever happens between you and I, you will always be my father and I will always be your son. And in anything that you ask me to do, I will obey you. I've obeyed you my whole life. But when it comes to matters of belief and when it comes to matters of eternity, I choose Islam because on the day of judgment, dad, I will be alone. You'll be alone. I can't say anything for you. You're your own person. And you can't say anything for me. So when it, when it comes to Islam, when it comes to my hereafter, when it comes to me choosing, I choose Islam. And the next day, he went to his lawyer and he made me penniless. Alhamdulillah. And immediately I said, I choose Islam. Like that. And my father said, Okay. Before you become non existent to me, before I write you out of my life. Before I take every single penny that you had coming to you 
in your inheritance? I want to know why. Why? Why do you choose Islam? And this is what I said. Whatever happens between you and I, you will always be my father and I will always be your son. And in anything that you ask me to do, I will obey you. I've obeyed you my whole life. But when it comes to matters of belief and when it comes to matters of eternity, I choose Islam because on the day of judgment, dad, I will be alone. You'll be alone. I can't say anything for you. You're your own person and you can't say anything for me. So when it, when it comes to Islam, when it comes to my hereafter, when it comes to me choosing, I choose Islam. And the next day he went to his lawyer. He even sent me a copy of the, of him writing me out of his will. He sent it to me and I was in prison at the time. And there I read the note that I was completely out of his will. Nothing, nothing, not a car, not a dollar, not a penny, not a piece of land, a house, an heirloom, nothing. And I sat in my cell in prison where I became a Muslim. And the first thing that I said, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. It cost me a whole boatload of money. It cost me my father, my mother, my brothers, my sister, both grandparents on both sides of my family, my cousins, uh, everybody, everybody, everybody. And they didn't speak to me for 15 years. But When you look at it, when you look at eternity, when you look at, you will be brought before your Lord, your creator, and asked, why didn't you, why did you deny me? You were this close to Islam. You believed, but you chose to be afraid of other people that I've created.